Good evening, everyone. This is uh, a session related to finding the center of the mass or center of gravity for irregular object. First, uh, the definition of a center of the mass or center of the gravity. Basically, the Earth is pulling the object towards its center. For example, this is representing the Earth. And there's an object here. So Earth is pulling the object towards its center, and that force is known as the force of a gravity. And the total force, like the force which is acting on one kilogram, that is known as the strength of a gravity or value of the gravity, which is 10 Newton per kilogram for Earth. But the total force which this object experience, it also depends on the mass. So this object is 20 kg. So what is the weight of the object? Weight is mass multiplied by gravity. The so mass of an object is 20 and the gravity is 10. So this object will experience a force of 200 Newton. So the total force which this object experiences, that's known as its weight. As this force is acting on the object, it's not acting all the points. There's a specific point this force is acting. So the point where this object experiences its weight or weight is acting, what we call that point, we call that point as a center of the gravity or the center of the mass. For IGCSE O levels, you will consider the center of the mass and center of gravity are the same thing. But later you will find they are not same, they are different from each other. So right now we'll consider the center of the mass and center of gravity to be same. And the point where the weight of an object is acting, we call that as the center of the mass or center of gravity. And if we pivot an object from its center of the mass or the center of gravity, the object will be in equilibrium or it will be balanced. Because what happens is this is an object which is experiencing a force of 200 Newton, the force from the earth, the pull. If I pivot this object from its center of the gravity or the center of the mass, it won't have a turning effect because this force is acting on the pivot. So the moment or the turning effect is zero as moment is the product of force and distance. So there is a force of 200, but there's no perpendicular distance. So it's net turning effect is zero Newton meter. And in this case, this object will be in balance or it will be in equilibrium. So the center of the gravity may be regarded as a point of balance as well, because whenever we pivot an object from its center of the gravity, the object will be balanced. And the center of the gravity of uniform object, normally if we, uniform object means even distribution of the mass. So it's normally at the center for a uniform object, which are even, not, there's a difference between regular and uniform. Regular means like it's having a definite shape and uniform means even distribution of the mass. But we may have an object which is regular and non-uniform distribution of the mass. So it won't have a center of the gravity at its center. So this is an important term. Normally uh, in questions, the structure question, they mention the object is uniform. So what you will consider, you will consider its center of the gravity is acting at the center. But what if the object is non-uniform? So how we can work out the center of the gravity for irregular, like object is irregular and non-uniform. So we use a plumb line method. So we have a card and we want to find its center of the gravity or the center of the mass. So how we work out the procedure, first we make three holes in the card and minimum two holes will work. We can have more than two, like it can be three, four, five, but the minimum it should be two. So here for accuracy, we made three holes. So in this, we made three holes, one at position A, one at position B, another one at position C. Then we attach, and it should be free to move. Like this card should be, the lamina should be, the regular lamina should be free to move. Then what we do, we attach a string, which is having a pendulum or a bob, also known as a plumb line. So if you look from the sideways, if this was a pin and here is an object. 
So the thread and the pendulum or the bob is not in contact with you. This is when you look from the side way. So there's a gap between them. Now what we do when we attach this plumb line, we mark the position of this plumb line from position A. So we mark the cross, so we'll mark these, this cross. So as a result, what will happen like this is an object and we mark at position A and we mark the two crosses, this position B and this position C. So when we mark the two crosses, we will draw a line through that point A and join these two crosses. That is the first thing we did. Now we will repeat this procedure with point B and then to point C. So after doing it with point A, like we attach uh, from, uh, the, we clamp this using a like nail held by clamp and then this plain uh, irregular lamina is there, attach a plumb line and mark the position on the plumb line or uh, mark the position on the lamina, the two crosses and draw a line from point to the two cross and join them. Then what we do, we repeat this procedure. We hang from point B. So this was point A, which is already done. We mark the two crosses and we drew the line that is already done. Now we hang from point B. The point C is example here. Then we hang from point B and then again, what we'll do, we'll attach a string with a pendulum or a plumb line. And again, we mark the two cross position of this plumb line by marking the cross on the lamina. And when we remove this plumb line, we are left with these cross and we join the line from point B to these crosses. So the position or the point where these two lines will intersect, that will be the center of the gravity or center of the mass. For accuracy, we can repeat with point C, like point A and B are already done. Then we'll hang from point C. So we'll hang from point C, the point B and A already we are done. Like we have already marked the cross and we intersected the lines. Then with point C, we'll attach a plumb line. And then we mark the position of this plumb line. We remove this plumb line and we join the two points from the position we, we have. So the position or the point where these all lines intersect, what we call, we call that as a center of the gravity or the center of mass. So this is a method or a technique which we normally use to find out the center of the gravity or center of the mass of irregular object. So this, uh, like the first one is there, then when we at hang from second position and third position, so three lines will be there and the position where they all intersect, what is a, that will give us a center of the mass or center of gravity of the object. So this was an experiment to find the center of the gravity of irregular shape lamina.